It's strange, but it's comforting. Hey guys, this is my review of Doctor Strange. This is the last review I did while I was over on uh, my vacation, but I wanted to do this. I did it just basically before I left, so I wanted to edit it at home. Doctor Strange is probably the best Marvel film since Captain America Winter Soldier. As well as Guardians of the Galaxy. Sorry, almost forgot that one. Honestly, I enjoy the Marvel films to a point, but they are extremely formulaic. And Doctor Strange does fall into that same formula. It does try to break it, but the thing that makes it so enjoyable is one, Benedict Cumberbatch, as doing a very convincing American accent, which actually was pretty good, because honestly, I kept for, I was waiting for it to break through here and there, as well as just the visuals of this film are absolutely incredible. That's basically one reason why you should watch this film. If you are going to watch it, watch it on IMAX cam. I watched it in a regular theater and I was still impressed, but admittedly, probably seeing that film in IMAX would have been absolutely insane. The visuals of this film are not just for show, they actually are part of what's going on with the narrative, and that's what makes it so interesting, is especially the end fight sequence. So watching this character, we see an origin story, of course, and it's actually a bit shorter than you would expect. It's not as much about him recovering, being this big guy, and getting his hands broken very, very badly in a car accident, which is funny because it's also basically a don't text and drive, or don't uh, drive while distracted ad. And then we see him go to this ancient temple where we learn the arts of being a sorcerer. And that was one thing that was cool too, is it, it still sort of rem res put it, puts itself into a field of reality, or in the Marvel reality, because, you know, we've gotten we've gone on a stretch with a few things we've had in the Marvel films, and this is like straight up saying magic's real. And while that's a bit, yeah, I actually did enjoy it. And everyone got really pissed off that P Tilda Swinton was going to be the ancient one. Okay, I don't, yes, there's whitewashing, I'll admit. But the thing is, her character is still different from what I expected, and I actually enjoyed that aspect of her and her whole narrative through this story, and that's something that I enjoyed, is while this film does follow the same Marvel arc, it tries its damnedest to go in different directions, and it does a pretty good job with that. The visuals are very interesting, the character of Doctor Strange is incredible, the, the fight scenes are very creative, the end sequence was awesome, I actually enjoyed the end sequence immensely. And overall, I really did enjoy Doctor Strange. I think it's an enjoyable film. I think it tries to be different from Marvel. It's not, but it still is an enjoyable film. And I am very much looking forward to Thor 3, because I'm pretty sure he's in it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to give Doctor Strange a 5 out of 7. I enjoyed it. I don't think it's one of the more... I think it's not one of the more standout Marvel films in terms of narrative, but in terms of visuals, the director went way over and beyond what I expected, and I enjoyed this film just from a visual feed. So if that's something, definitely for you guys to check out. Anyway guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.